A distinct whiff of aerosol on the streets of the town, famed for its Georgian buildings and racing festival. In this elegant borough, artists from around the world. Jules Muck was here from Los Angeles. When they let people come and take their time and do something good, they get better results. And honestly, I think it's, it's more beneficial for the community than another museum because you don't even have to go anywhere. You just walk your own life and do your own thing and you see a bunch of art. What would you say to people who think that, that graffiti is, is vandalism and here we are sort of promoting it? Well, uh, if you haven't got permission, then it is vandalism. Uh, when you have permission, then it's, it's art, really, uh, or it's, uh, it's still graffiti uh, if it's writing. But if it's a nice big picture, then it's still art, whether it's graffiti or, or street art. And there were lessons in street art for youngsters who want to swap paint and paper for spray can and wall. I'm trying to draw Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. How's it going? How easy is it? It's really, really easy, actually. Um, like, it only takes a second to do a massive area. You have to have, like, a steady hand. And um, if you do it too close, it will drip. But if you do it too far, it's not as precise. But I'd say it's quite easy. This is the latest addition to the list of festivals, which includes science, literature, music and jazz. It seems the town is welcoming street art. Rotary Club uh, invited me up to have a dinner with them and do a presentation about the festival. They all took maps and went round all the pieces from last year and got in contact to say how lovely it all was. Um, and the town has taken to it amazingly. Some of the works are huge. At other times of year, they could be arrested for doing this. Today, they were being celebrated. Robert Murphy, ITV News, Cheltenham.